Hello and welcome to the north coast of Scotland. I'm on a peninsula which looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. To my left is a village called Tung and just a few miles to my right hand side another village called Hope. Behind you, about seven miles away, is Ben Hope which is the northernmost Munro in Scotland standing at just over 3,000 feet high and behind me about four miles that way is the North Atlantic Ocean. Around me is just over 14,000 acres of blanket bog. It is very wet. It's a good job I've put my wellies on this morning. But that's not why I'm here. This is going to be the site of the world's greenest vertical launch spaceport. I know, I couldn't believe it either. It's going to launch up to 12 rockets a year from 2023, hopefully and it's going to be called Space Hub Sutherland. But why Sutherland? Surely there's better places to build a spaceport where it's not going to damage the peat bogs and the rare plants and wildlife. There's actually a few reasons why this is a great place to launch rockets. They'll blast off and head towards the polar orbit and from there they'll take a trajectory around the planet that takes them over the North and South Poles. Another good reason is that the rockets that launch from here will take a direct route to the North Pole. From here to there is just sea, the North Atlantic Ocean. Which means if there's a problem with the rocket and it falls out of the sky, it's not going to fall onto any populated areas. It'll just fall into the sea. So what will the rockets be carrying? Well, not people, I've already asked. <laughs> they'll be carrying small commercial satellites and they'll be designed to monitor the environment. So they'll be looking at things like wildfires, the polar ice caps and deforestation. And it'll help scientists to understand what's going on with climate change. Ah, but isn't launching a dozen rockets a year just going to add to climate change? Well, Orbex, who are building the rockets, are pioneering a new type of fuel. It's a combination of biopropane and liquid oxygen. And they claim that together, the fuel doesn't leave any carbon residue in the atmosphere. In fact, it cuts the carbon footprints of rocket launchers by 96%. So let's take a look at what this site should look like by next year. The Launch Operations Control Centre is where all the launch and range control activities will take place. It'll be housed in the building that's closest to the main road, but it's been designed to blend in as much as possible with the natural surroundings. At its highest point, it's only seven metres tall, but the whole building will slope away from the road with a living green roof so that it integrates into the landscape. So much so, you might even miss it if you drive by. Next up is the Launch Site Integration Centre, where the rockets will be assembled and tested. This is also where the satellites will be loaded onto the rockets before being moved to the launch pad on a short railway track. 400 metres north of the Integration Centre and just over a mile and a half from the main road is the launch pad itself. This is where the rockets will be mounted onto a 19 metre high steel strongback and prepared for vertical launch. So what about the rockets themselves? This is the Orbex Prime. It's 19 metres high, just under one and a half metres in diameter, and it can carry up to 180 kilograms of payload, which could be anything from one to several small satellites. The rockets are made out of carbon fibre and graphene, which is 200 times stronger than steel. It's got seven engines, which, believe it or not, are 3D printed. The rockets are reusable, so once it's returned to Earth, it can be recovered and used again. So when is it all happening? Because it still looks a bit desolate out here. Well, the plans have been going on for four years, and according to Space Hub Sutherland, just a few weeks ago, work started on providing electricity to support the site. And Orbex, who are going to be building the rockets that will launch from Space Hub Sutherland, are already employing dozens of new people. They're getting ready for integrated testing, dress rehearsals for the rocket launchers that will take place here. And they're doing that at their site in Moray. 
One of the problems of living somewhere so remote, like here in the North Highlands, are the lack of career opportunities. Now, Space Hub Sutherland say they hope to create about 250 jobs, mainly for people in the Highlands and Islands. And of those, about 60 will be for people in the local communities of Sutherland and Caithness. And it's exciting for younger people because there's going to be apprenticeships available too. It is all really exciting and I can't wait to be stood somewhere around here next year filming the very first rocket launch. I tell you, who needs Cape Canaveral when we've got Space Hub Sutherland right on our doorstep? Hello. Hello. Did you miss me? Absolutely not. It's strange doing a vlog on my own. Why? I don't like it. You should have come. No, you'd have liked it. It were really nice. Did the locals like it? Well, it's kind of mixed. When the plans first came out, some liked it and some really didn't want it. And some have been won over and some have not been won over. So most people, the majority are in favour of it, but I mean, you've got to understand it. I mean, how would you feel if they were going to build a spaceport like next, not next to your house? Because I mean, there's no houses right, like right next to it. There's communities as little as like two or three miles away from it. And you're going to be worried about noise and stuff, aren't you? But it's not going to happen every day. Well, no, there's going to be up to 12 launches a year, up to, and they reckon that the noise will be for like between a minute and two. We're going to be travelling some then, aren't we? Just yeah. go and watch them. <laughs> yeah. So you've got like uh, up to a couple of minutes of noise, 12, up to 12 times a year, which is not that much. No. They reckon like emissions, because of the uh, biofuel that they're using, that uh, there's not going to be kind of any vapour. It's just going to be a combination of a bit of CO2 and a bit of water. So that's not too bad. So it might rain. It might rain a little bit, yeah. <laughs> and I think the other thing is probably the, the tourism because the road that the Space Hub is on is the is part of the NC500. Oh, there you go. Uh, so if you're doing the NC500 from next year, watch out for that because you, you'll probably pass it. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be packed. I think the other good thing is the peat because it's a, 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 a big peat bog. Yeah. Uh, they've said that any peat that they do dig up for construction, they're going to use elsewhere. So any where they've dug it up in the past, they're going to replace it. They're not going to waste any peat. Good. So there's a lot of environmental uh, assessments and things taking place. And they, they seem to be doing a really good job. When you look at the planning and the applications and stuff, there's yeah. just lists and lists of plans. So i excited. I am. It is really, I, really I can't wait to see a rocket launch. If you want more details about Space Hub Sutherland, I've put a link in the video description on this video. And I've also put a link for Orbex, which are the company who are building the rockets that are going to be launching from there. I can't believe we're talking about a spaceport, like literally on our own doorstep. I know, it's amazing. It is great. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. Uh, and come up and see the rocket launches from next year. That'll be ace. You'll see us, well, me, somewhere with the drone. Oh, they'll go mad with that, won't they? We'll be there going. <laughs> uh, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> give the video a thumbs up. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new video. If you'd like to support the channel, it does cost quite a lot of money getting these videos done lately, does it? All this travelling. Uh, there is a link up above Sean's head, which will take you to our Patreon channel. It's also in the video description if the link's not above his head. It or should be. You can join as a YouTube member. Uh, that's it, isn't it? I think so. We'll be back next week. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. ta -ra.